Another thing is we in the show have talked uh, several times, especially more than ever this year about developers, developers using our platform. May that be related to workers, our platform AI building, R2, our storage. How these certifications help them build compliant services more confidently. It also helps them, right? Not only like a typical big company using Cloudflare, but also those developers building the new AI tool that's around. Yeah, I mean, look, everybody who's building their tools, their internet applications, their websites, I mean, everybody has their own responsibility to make sure they're complying with laws. So I just want to make sure we put that out there, right? But the idea is that if you do use a network like ours, then you know you have a leg up because certain boxes for that compliance have already been checked. And and so then that will help you in your representations to your end users and in terms of how you tell them how your their data is handled. So so yeah, I think it, it's a it's a great help to them. But yeah, my little as you know, gotta do the PSA of you you know, you we can't offer legal advice and you have to do your own legal legwork. The other comparison I'd quite like to make actually is, you know, we expect our platform to be out there with the newest features, the newest privacy technologies, the newest standards, you know, we we expect the developer platform we, we push to make sure we do that because we know that's what our, our audience our customers we know it's what they want they want the latest ai models they want the latest fastest platforms what we're doing is we're doing the same thing for our privacy compliance program we're looking at what is kind of new what is out there that that people and we're trying to think ahead for our customers so that we can basically lead by example and so whether you're a developer whether you're a massive organization you can see that cloudflare is not just developing new privacy technologies not just cooperating with international standards bodies and and technologies to kind of lead the way but also with privacy certification we're doing the same thing here. I'm also interested in the privacy strategy and philosophy. We already touched this a bit, but in what way the certifications also help us be better? Following all of those guidelines in terms of not only are we doing this, but how can we prove it, as you mentioned before, Rory, but in what way those certifications also help our ecosystem in terms of privacy strategy philosophy. Yeah, so, well, I think our philosophy have, has always been don't just say you care about privacy, show it. And so this follows right in with that. And I also, I, I think there is a certain level of, you know, these, I, I don't want to say that these certifications set a floor because they are not the bare minimum. They certainly go much beyond that. But they also are, they're, a, they're, they're like I said, kind of a level playing field. Everybody's playing by this, this, the same set of rules when you certify to these programs. But that doesn't mean that that's all we're doing. That's kind of the other thing. So these are just a part of our overall strategy and philosophy when it comes to protecting data. And there's a number of other aspects to it, including you know, the way we handle, for example, law enforcement requests and push back on those if we believe that there's conflict of laws. The the security safeguards, as Roy mentioned, you don't really have privacy without security. And so the security protocols and the additional safeguards that we put in place around around the data. So it's, it's kind of a complementary part of this overall strategy to keeping data private and secure.